Good morning, YouTube. It's my Monday. It's Tuesday to you guys. My Monday because I'm off on Sunday and Monday. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm in the old shitbox this morning. I got a lot done. A lot done to the uh, blazer. The doors are playing and they sound great. I got to do a little bit more fine tuning on the amplifiers for the doors, but I uploaded my DSP file with the DSP. Everything's playing. All the sub amps come on and are working. It's just, I have speaker wires unhooked on them because I still need to go in with the DD1 and uh, my multimeter and gain match all of them. So I got a set gain, gain match. And I haven't put a bass knob in it yet, which all the wires ran for that. And there's so much that goes into a big build. It's like, you'll think you got like three things to tighten up, but in reality you have nine because even though I did put a voltmeter in the dash and I got the wires ran back for that, it's a voltmeter with just a hot in the ground. And which that means I had to run another wire after the fact that is ignition wire to trigger a relay. Which I'm actually going to use that trigger wire to uh, trigger a couple of different relays for different things. But just that, you know, the positive and negative for the vote gauge. And then I remembered the base knob has a vote gauge in it. So I got to do another run of wiring from beside the wall up and to the RCA with the RCA that is going to come out of the uh, base knob. So there's things there that you don't really think about or foresee at the time. And I have to wire another relay up to uh, the Fat Boy regulator which a lot of people has asked me to do a video on the fat boy regulator. I probably will at some point, but they only have three wires. They have a hot, a ground and a field wire. And if you have an externally regulated alternator, then your alternator will have a fields wire coming out. So the thing with the fat boy is that's the only three wires they have and you need battery power going to the plus on the fat boy. Well, what sucks is they have an on and off switch. So if you wire it like that and you get in your car and you forget to turn the regulator on, you're kind of screwed because you won't be charging. And I always wire it through a relay. I take that battery wire and I'll run it through a relay to an ignition wire. That way when you turn the key on, it automatically comes on. Makes things a lot simpler, but we'll get into wiring that up later. But it's just a lot of little problems that people don't think about, you know, and that me, myself, I have overlooked or forgotten about because they're little bitty things and you always throw them on the back burner. I wonder if EXO goes through this shit. <laughs> we know Salman don't. He, that dude covers his bases from like the get-go. I think Doug actually sits down with a pen and paper and has like a list of everything he needs to do in what order. I don't know. EXO might do that too. I'm just not as popular as them guys, so... I'm sure they wouldn't answer me. But anyway, I did give EXO a demo before. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Yeah. I'm, I'm by a highway, so there's like noisy ass cars going by. But anyway, guys, I'm not 100% sure that the Blazer is going to make it to sundown. Theoretically, next weekend is the last day I have to work on it. That's the last weekend before sundown, I think. And... There's a lot of little things I still have to do to it. I have to get the power windows working and figure out why they quit working. Uh, which is an anomaly to me. It's a Chevy. I don't know. I used to love Chevys back in the day, but God, problem, problem, problems. Uh, so I'm not 100% going to make it to sundown. I have a few things to do to the old shit box here before it can go to sundown. I mean, it could go to sundown like this. It's just... I, I want to button some things up in here. I want to give great demos, you know, not rattly demos. Uh, either way, the Jeep's always down to give a demo. But the Blazer, on the other hand, you know, the, the doors are playing. They sound great. Uh, a little bit more fine-tuning. But other than that, you know, I got to set the, the gains on the amplifiers for the subs. 
subs to be playing. I gotta wire the fat boy up. I gotta put the fat boy regulator in there and wire it up so it start charging. I did charge the battery last night on my little power supply, so it's good to go. And it was powering all the amps yesterday for the mids and highs, so I did a test on that. They do sound great, but as always with a new build, you got little issues to work out, and that's kind of where we're at. But just figured I'd do a quick video today. Like I said, I've been trying to do a lot more YouTube videos, and even if it's just me talking about what's going on, it's all good. But uh, I think I need to move up because this dude's getting ready to hit me. There's literally a semi that backed up behind me. I'm parked on an old service road. Well, I better turn that off or YouTube, or YouTube will flag that. But I park on this old service road, kind of out in the middle of swampland. So uh, here, I'll, I'll do a quick camera flip around so you can... It is all swamp land here, guys. I think a lot of people go back that way and fish, but there you go. See semi back here. Yeah, I, I try not to bother people when I shoot my videos because basically getting loud. So out here in this old swamp, you know, it's all good, but anyway, yeah, that's what's going on with me, the blazer. I'll do more progress when I do it on the blazer, but I don't get to work on it again to Sunday. And that leaves me between now and Sunday to figure out why the hell the power windows quit working. But anyway, YouTube, it's kind of a ramble on video, kind of boring. I don't know what to say, man. I, doing YouTube videos is a lot harder than TikTok because TikTok, you only got a minute to get everything out and go a little longer on here. But everybody have a great day. Peace out. And as always, base on.